Hi, my name is Dori Durbin. I'm a children's book author and illustrator, and I wanted to share with you my books today. I have three books. My first book is called Little Cat Needs Space. It's about a little cat oops, and her friend Dog. And Dog really wants to be around little cat, but little cat really needs to tell him she needs some space. You'll have to learn about that later. I also have a book called Little Cat Feels Left Out. And you can see little cat over here is not part of what's going on with dog and Mr. Fuzby, dog's friend. My third book is just brand new. It's called Little Cat and Dog's Birthday Bake, a recipe for caring. And this is a chapter book, so it's a little bit older. So the, the characters do a little more in the story and the whole situation is a little bit more complex. But the gist of it is little cat makes a cake for her good friend dog and it's full of lots of fun laughs. So. Today, I'm going to read to you, Little Cat Feels Left Out. I'll show you the inside here. You can see Little Cat's thinking about feeling left out. Have you ever been left out? I've been left out. It's not very much fun. All right, this starts off like this. Dog and Little Cat are the very best of friends. And one really great friend is all that little cat really needs. And here's the picture. Ah, Mr. Fuzzy, says dog. But could it be that dog feels he needs more than one best friend? Oops, I think it's not the right picture. Okay. Little cat thinks so because one day she notices all the fun that dog and Mr. Fuzzy are having without her. She hears dog happily shouting while playing with Mr. Fuzzy. Let's ride, hide, slide. Dog and Mr. Fuzzy have become very close. Try a glide, go wide, oops, collide. And that bothers little cat. Here's our picture. You can see little cat, oops, I'm sorry. There we go. <laughs> and then you can see Dog and Mr. Fuzzy, and they're going all over the place. And in the end, there's Little Cat at the bottom, and she's all by herself. Poor Little Cat. She calls out, hey, Dog, Dog. But still, Dog is talking to Mr. Fuzzy, and he's saying, Mr. Fuzzy, you're my best friend. Little cat thinks, maybe dog didn't hear me. She tries again to get dog's attention. Here's her calling to dog. And here's Mr. Fuzzy and dog. And they're busy. They're too busy not paying attention. Dog? Oh, hey, little cat. But dog just still doesn't really notice. He's still busy talking to Mr. Fuzzy. Just a munch. Oof. All we need now is a quick nap. <sighs> Little cat is feeling left out. And there you can see they've completely fallen asleep. And poor little cat is all by herself. Little cat thinks, why is it? She wonders. All oh, that thought she's off to do something. We're not sure what it's gonna be yet. Why does dog think his little blue toy is his best friend? While dog naps, little cat will find out. Now, that's probably not the best decision little cat could have made, but it's definitely an understandable situation because sometimes we have to figure things out, don't we? Little cat takes a closer look at Mr. Fuzzy. She can see that he has no blinkity blinks, glittery gears, buzzity buttons, and nothing mysteriously magical. So how can this stuffed toy be a dog's best friend? It is quite true that Mr. Fuzzy is floppy, smooshy, and squashy, but simply being squeezable doesn't make him a best friend. Here she's checking out Mr. Fuzzy, looking very close. And seeing what he's made of, she's seeing he's squishy, sloppy, flippy, floppy. But that doesn't mean you're a best friend, right? 
must be something else. Perhaps Mr. Fuzby and Dog love the same hobbies. You can see that Dog, or I'm sorry, that Mr. Fuzby tries hard, but it looks like he isn't much of an artist. Little cat can't figure out why Dog enjoys hanging out with Mr. Fuzby all the time. There's Mr. Fuzby making more of a mess than a painting, right? She keeps asking herself, hmm, why has Mr. Fuzby become Dog's favorite friend? Little cat thinks as she notices Mr. Fuzby clapping his hands in front of her painting of dog. Clap, clap, clap. Oops, there we go. That's quite a fine painting. And Mr. Fuzby is excited. Hmm. She starts thinking, good friends share. Perhaps Mr. Fuzby enjoys sharing. So little cat starts to collect a few of her favorite things that she can share. Yeah, really good friends share a lot, don't they? Little cat stacks, scurries, and hurries. She says to herself, I just gotta get. And suddenly she slips and yells, oh! And she lands on Mr. Fuzby, who breaks her fall. She says, oh, thank you, Mr. Fuzby. Oops, let me get the right picture here. There we go. You can see she's fallen and slipped and Mr. Fuzby's there to catch her, isn't he? That's kind of a nice thing for him to do. But now, little cat's favorite things are scattered everywhere all over. And she exclaimed, oh, Mr. Fuzz, we have so much to clean up now. In his own creative way, Mr. Fuzby helps her pick everything up. See here, everything's scattered all over. Look at Mr. Fuzby. He's dancing, carrying things, stacking things on top of them. And in no time at all, it doesn't seem like any work. Everything's picked up. Little Cat smiles when she sees the felt tip marker mustaches on her face and says, ha, 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 Mr. Fuzby, you're so funny. Look at, so he made the whole experience of picking up a lot of fun. See that? Okay. By working together, Little Cat and Mr. Fuzby can accomplish anything. She tells him, yes, Mr. Fuzby, you've got this. And see, they're stacking up blocks. Look at that. They even included things they found around the house to add in there. Little Cat thinks Mr. Fuzby is encouraging, helpful, fun, and trustworthy. Dog is still sleeping on the floor beside them, talking in his sleep now. Oh. Little Cat realizes that Mr. Fuzby is much more than just a toy. Oh, the right way here. <laughs> what do you think he is? He's more than just a toy. He is a great friend. Aw, she figured it out. All of a sudden, Little Cat hears a noise again. Oh, Mr. Fuzz, it's Dog. Little cat had almost forgotten he was still sleeping. Uh-oh. Now he's not sleeping, is he? He's waking up. Little cat hurries to return Mr. Fuzzy before dog is completely awake. Dog partly opens his eyes and he sees Mr. Fuzzy still half asleep. He mumbles, <laughs> Mr. Fuzz, I had the strangest dream. You and little cat. <gasps> Wait, what happened to you, says dog. Dog wakes up and he notices how dirty Mr. Fuzzy is. How did that happen? Dog is upset and little cat realizes how she could be a better friend. She says, I'm sorry, dog. It's my fault. Can I help you take care of Mr. Fuzzy? So now she realizes she's made a mistake and she does the right thing, right? She decides to help. Together, dog and little cat use soap and suds to wash and rinse Mr. Fuzzy. Then they dry him off completely. Oops, there you go. Now you can see they're getting them all cleaned up. Dry him off completely until... Ta-da! Mr. Fuzzy is as good as new. Dog is thrilled. He starts chanting, back together, 
birds of a feather and he's running around back to normal again. Look at him flipping and doing cartwheels. So silly and excited. Whoops. Once again, though, little cat feels all alone and left out. Oh, poor little cat. But then she hears dog call out, little cat, aren't you coming? <gasps> what? You see that? Oops. Here we go. What do you think little cat's going to say? I mean, he is inviting her. Mr. Fuzzy is fun. Dog is fun. Hmm, what would you say? With a big smile, little cat answers, oh yes, here I come. Together, dog, little cat, and Mr. Fuzzy romp and play all day long. Happily, they agree. Two best friends. There can always become three. And in the very end, you see them. Oops, I'll try to hold this still. Romping around, having adventures together until they are exhausted and fall fast asleep. The end. I hope you enjoyed my story. Let's talk about it some more with your class. Have a great day.